Good night and welcome to Benal Madena's first in list news broadcast. Digital Costa del Sol brings you every Friday all the information about this week news. Andalusians celebrate this Sunday the Party of Democracy with the election of the Community's Parliament, which are marked by uncertainty about their results. We are two days away from the autonomic elections in Andalucía, and Juanma Moreno's PP is positioned as a possible winner according to the polls. The figures point to his victory, but he will probably need the support of Vox, and the far-right party already expressed his conditions. They want to enter the government. This would repeat the same post-election scenario as in Castilla y León on February, but with a fundamental difference for Moreno, who would go from having the external support of the extreme right-wing party to having it as the only sustenance. Ciudadanos, part of the coalition government with PP, could even disappear from the Andalusian parliament. In the final stretch of the campaign for the Andalusians' election, there is still a lot of uncertainty regarding the results. Judging by the polls, the left parties will be the losers of these elections, and not even the possibility of Vox entering the regional government seems to mobilize its electorate. The slogan of the anti-fascist alert, which in fact began for the first time four years ago in Andalucía and did not prevent Abascal's party from entering parliament for this first time, no longer calls the socialist voter to the polls. But the one who may end up missing the polarization as a campaign axis is Vox, which as its provocations cease to be a novelty, is losing its main lever to gain prominence. One of the consequences that the PSOE expected from the Olona effect was that her belligerence would mobilize the left more than an unknown candidate. The sports area organized a while ago a day of physical maintenance for the elderly, in which they underwent through a clinical sports assessment to evaluate their skills and recommend exercises. This week, they've received the results. The mayor of Penalmadena, Victor Navas, sports councilman Joaquin Villazón and third age councilwoman Irene Díaz visit on Wednesday the sports center of Arroyo de la Miel, where the results of a clinical sports analysis carried out by the sports area in collaboration with the University of Castilla-La Mancha were handed over. Before proceeding with the delivery of the results, Navas addressed the attendees, stressing the importance of regular physical activity. This study will also serve the City Council to collect a series of global results that help us to take a snapshot of the state of health of the elderly of our municipality, a useful tool to correct certain situations that may cause a worsening of their physical condition. I want to highlight the importance of maintaining healthy lifestyle habits, taking care of food and exercise. Next to Navas was Leonor Gallardo, vice rector of the University of Castilla-La Mancha, who praised the work of her team and stressed the need to take care of our health in view of the increase in life expectancy. The clinical sports report has been made after a previous physical evaluation carried out by egoid technicians, and it includes the needs and specific exercises that will help each participant to improve their physical skills. The overall report reveals a good general physical condition of the elderly, but it is necessary to continue improving, and they cannot stop doing adequate physical activity. Our life expectancy keeps growing, and it is important to have healthy habits in order to stay in a good condition. On his part, Villazón said that this is a very positive measure that encouraged the practice of sports and explained that this is the first year in which the initiative is organized. But the idea is to continue to carry out the test for several years to follow up. This program has been launched by the Benalmadena City Council in collaboration with Egoid Sportec, a spin-off of the University of Castilla-La Mancha, made up of graduates and specialists in physical education dedicated to research in the management of sports organizations and facilities. The physical evaluation will also carry out next year in order to facilitate follow-up. 
The Spanish Association Against Cancer organized this week a tent on the beach of Torre Bermeja to highlight the importance of solar prevention with a dermatologist who was conducting examinations to all interested persons. Health Councilman Juan Carrillo and the President of the Spanish Association Against Cancer, Luisa Jiménez, spoke with the media on Monday at Torre Bermeja Beach, as also known as Malapesquera, where the association organized a stand to talk about prevention and sun protection. Their volunteers were handing out information and recommendations while a dermatologist was performing preliminary examinations to everyone interested. The skin is the largest organ we have, and for this reason we must carry out regular checkups as skin cancer is the one with the highest incidence. Skin cancer is a malignant disease produced by the uncontrolled division and growth of the cells that form it. These have the capacity to invade surrounding healthy tissues and structures and in some cases reach other organs at a distance. The goal of this action is to raise public awareness of the importance of adequate sun protection. Carrillo highlighted the importance of a proper sun protection, reviewing the slogan of the association. Every year at the beginning of the summer season, with the collaboration of the AFF, we remind the population of the importance of taking precautions before exposing ourselves to the sun. And this year, the association has chosen as the slogan for the campaign, This summer do not play with the sun. We also had the chance to speak with Ignacio Castaño, the dermatologist who was attending those interested in the test, who told us that it is very useful campaign. People passing by are showing interest in the information we are giving, and we have realized already more than 20 examinations in just one hour. However, there is still a lot of ignorance about good practices and the importance of sun prevention. To conclude, he gave some basic recommendations, although he emphasized two things, prevention and early detection. I want to remind the main precautions we should take facing the summer and during the rest of the year to protect our skin from the harmful effects that could cause its exposure to the sun. Use sunscreen and caps, stay in the shade during the hours of greatest incidence of the sun or drink in water assiduously. The Exhibition Center of an Almadena Costa inaugurated this week the Exhibition Transarte, a tour where different artists show us how the art transcends the conventional limits through new formats and languages. Culture Councilman Pablo Centella visited last Tuesday the Exhibition Center in Benalmadena Costa, where this week was inaugurated Transarte, an exhibition that seeks to innovate through new formats and language, breaking with conventionality. The Councilman emphasized the importance of supporting the artistic vanguard and invited neighbors and visitors not to miss the exhibition. This exhibition places the exhibition center at the forefront of one of the most fashionable aspects in the art world, digital art. It aims to draw the landscape of what is currently being done in digital art and what is the use of digital as a plastic tool for the development of creativity. I want to invite our neighbors and visitors not to miss the opportunity of enjoying these incredible works. Centella was accompanied by Fernando Carmona, the exhibition curator, who spoke about the different profiles of each artist and the new communication channels used on digital art. The exhibition brings together artists of very different profiles, mainly Andalusian and mixes high technology with the collaboration of Samsung and its latest devices with the format and more traditional techniques. Digital art uses new channels to revolutionize creation. It does not replace traditional art, but complements it, offering new forms of expression, marketing and consumption with an instrumental and non-exclusive character. He also highlighted the collaboration of Samsung and announced parallel activities like guided tours and meetings. 
with the audiovisual experience in charge of the multinational Samsung, the exhibition will also feature innovative artistic experiences. During the three months that this exhibition will last, visitors will be able to enjoy numerous activities such as guided tours, round tables and meetings between art lovers and the new collecting where the new challenges that art is facing will be addressed. Carlos Aznar, Bruno Vázquez, Ángelo Nestore, Paul Barbero, Pablo Lara, Aniel Dominique, Adrián García, Ignacio Junquera, José Robles and Ocaro are part of this exhibition in which all artistic disciplines come together. Transarte arises from the study of transdisciplinary knowledge organization and its application in the field of creation, with the aim of providing a global view of the art world as a rich and diverse unit. New laws approved by the central government to avoid food waste, requiring restaurants and bars to offer customers the option to take their food away, providing suitable containers. The Spanish government is cracking down on food waste. In addition to making supermarkets sell mishapen fruit and bake cheaply and donate unsold products to food banks and charities, a new draft law will force restaurants to offer clients the chance to take home any food they have not eaten. The future law will oblige all agents in the food chain to draw up a plan to prevent waste and anyone who fails to comply could face fines reaching up to 60,000 euros or 500,000 euros for repeat offenders. With regard to bars and restaurants, staff will have to ask clients if they would like to take their uneaten food with them and provide suitable containers. Companies will have to certify how much waste they have produced each year and shops will be obliged to reduce the price of products which are nearing their expiry date. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization says approximately 30% of the food produced in the world goes to waste and accounts for around 1.3 billion tons a year. Nearly half of the waste is produced following harvesting when growers throw away products which appear imperfect and by shops and stores. A study with the Ministry of Agriculture has shown that 75% of households in Spain waste food, especially fruit, vegetables, bread and milk. The government says this is an unacceptable loss when over 800 million people in the world suffer from hunger and 1.6 million from malnutrition. Luis Planas said Spain is one of the few countries to legislate on this issue. Only France and Italy have done so until now. Among other news, Málaga's city council has authorized the entire taxi fleet to operate at weekends and more cars will be available at the taxi ranks until the end of October. Normally, the drivers have to take a rest day at weekends, so half work on Saturdays and the other half on Sundays. During the summer, they will all have the choice to work on Friday nights between 8 p.m. and 7 in the morning on Saturday and from 8 p.m. on Saturdays until Monday morning. There will also be a further 80 taxis available from Mondays to Thursdays, bringing the total to 1,024 each day, as well as the 205 who operate from the airport. The president of the Aumat Taxi Association, Miguel Martín, believes this will be sufficient to meet demand, but says that they will request authorization to increase the number of cars if necessary. At the airport, everything will remain the same. Miguel Martín says the taxi drivers are a bit busier than before, but things are still very uncertain. So for the time being, there are no plans to increase the number of cars. Taxi drivers work at the airport by turn, normally being based there one week in every seven. As elsewhere in the city, any changes to the number of taxis at the airport have to be authorized by the council, which also has the power to fine any driver who fails to comply with the requirement to take a rest day. And these are today's headlines. Electoral Sunday in Andalucía. Health and information for our seniors.
Solar Prevention Information Campaign of the ACC. Digital Art in the Exhibition Center. New law to avoid food waste. The weather forecast for the weekend will leave us with sunny skies with intervals of high clouds, maximum temperatures are slightly rising, reaching up to 30 degrees, and minimum unchanged around 20. Winds variable direction from east and northeast, more intense in the interior and extreme western coast. And that's all. Thank you for watching us and remember you can stay updated on our website or social media profile on Facebook and Twitter. Have a good night and enjoy the weekend.